Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time. Truly hope you're finding reasons <clears throat> to smile, laugh, enjoy life, appreciate everything and everyone around you. Before I say anything else, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, thumbs it up, leave me a positive comment down below, and... If you feel like it and support me anywhere else, all my links are in the description. If you want to collab, I got an email down there as well. Um, let's connect. Um, and yeah, with that out of the way. So, you guys know, especially those who've watched me for a while, you know, I go up and down with my energy, my depression, my anxiety. You know, I get motivated, you know, I get lazy, and at the moment, I'm a little bit motivated. You've probably already seen the Love Is Everything uh, video, um, and available on aloveproductions.com, uh, but I feel like it's as fitting as anything right now to support this message, and you know, everything I do is meant to spread love and positivity, it's meant to uplift and motivate Including myself, because, you, again, you know what I go through. But anyway, I wanted to kind of share um, my personal story over the years. Um, I think that's what I want to do. Yeah. So what? Um, so I grew up in a working class family, working poor class family. Um, my mother has been on and off welfare and, you know, subsidies and things like that throughout my life. Um, but she's also been a hard worker when she was working. You know, she did what she had to do. Um, didn't grow up with my father, a part of my my life, even though he lived in our, our community. Um, I'm not going to talk negatively about him because I have two sisters that had a very different experience when it comes to him. Um, and really, I've gotten to the point, you know, over the last, say, five or six years where I'm like, it's not worth holding on to that anger or that resentment. I just want to feel love, feel loved, give love, and, you know, leave it at that. And if we're meant to have a relationship, it's got, it will happen when it's meant to happen. Um, also growing up, I was bullied a lot. You know, for whatever reason, I don't know, kids being kids, whatever, but, you know, all the way up through middle school, it wasn't until I got to high school uh, where I purposely went to a school that was outside of my immediate uh, community because I knew the bullying would continue because the majority of those kids would still be would go to the local high school. And I wanted to get into music. And the one school in Boston at the time that had an um, um, music as part of its you know, everyday curriculum happened to be in an all black, uh, primarily black community. Um, and I used to get my family and people that knew me were like, why are you going to go to Stuku there? Aren't you afraid of getting, um, aren't you afraid of getting beat up or whatever? I go, I got bullied my, most of my life and I'm going there for music. I'm not going there for anything else. I went and I was the minority. I didn't care. I went there for the reasons I went. And those four years, didn't get bullied once. Didn't get bothered once. I got one question the whole time I was there about my appearance because obviously I dress the way I dress in men's clothes. Um, I just like men's clothes. I like short hair. Um, definitely a tomboy, even at 43. 
Um, and I'll get into that in a different video. Um, also growing up, my mother got involved with um, a, Peru, a man from Peru where I ended up having my two brothers. My brothers, especially the older of the two, looks more on the darker side and the Hispanic side, and he's dealt with, you know, issues of racial profiling here and there. And you also know, in 2010, I converted to Islam. Two years before I actually met my husband. And I think I told the story about that before. That um, I had a friend that was Muslim and we didn't even talk about religion. But when the re uh, relationship got kind of severed, I wanted to learn more about their culture. And I read the Quran and through the Quran, I found my... Um, own validation and decided to um, convert. And I grew up in a Catholic family. I'm just putting it all out there. So you know where I'm from, where, you know. And granted, my community, at least in the first 15 years, was primarily white. But if you look around now, it's very mixed. I think the Latino community is definitely... the um, if not equal with the white community, um, but there's a huge mix of people throughout my community now, um, in East Boston. Um, and, you know, I'm one that always wants peace. I always want love. I always want people to find happiness or being kind with each other. I get very upset when I hear other people judging others, you know, for being rude or for being this or for being that. And granted, I have my moments of judgment, judgment too, but I try to catch myself. Um, and with everything that's going on, this year alone, it's bad enough that we have a president that eggs it on that's part of the problem. Grant that the problems were here before him, but he, he doesn't help the situation. And I've been trying very hard not to speak on you know, anything that's going on in the world, because I don't want my channel to be right or left, this or that. Again, I'm about peace, love, inspiration, uplift. I just want to spread love. I just want to connect. I want people to feel the, you know, see the good, act on the good, be part of the good. And this is my way of doing that. And I know towards the end of the last video I put up, you know, I made a statement in there. And I do believe black lives matter. I see the racism. I know I have two brothers that are part Spanish and they look it. You know, I don't, and I, again, at least one of the two have dealt with racial profiling. So, you know, I know where that comes from. And I know why that phrase is important. Even though a lot of us, including myself, will say all lives matter. All lives matter, but in the situations that we continue to see, and I get extremely, and this is why I don't watch the news, but we all know social media, it's posted everywhere. And why I didn't post for a couple of days is I got sucked into so many other videos, not just the uh, the Floyd video. 
And I saw that video, I think, when it originally came out. And when I heard him saying, I can't breathe, I thought of the, um, Gar was it Gardner? Forgive me if I don't know all the names. Because I try, I'm not trying to ignore it. I'm not trying to avoid it. I'm just, my, my empathy level, the more I watch or hear about the news and the negative that goes on, it cripples me. Emotionally, mentally, psychologically, it just cripples me. And I don't, I already have a hard time getting myself up to do anything. When I see that, I'm like, what, what can I, how can I, I feel helpless. I don't know what to do. And I don't want to step over boundaries and I don't want to, you know, but I have gone to different protests here and there throughout my life, you know, and, you know, I want, you know, because I want to see change. I want, like I said, love and positivity. I want spread love. You know, I want, I want to stand up for what's right. And I hope those that follow me and those that come across my channel feel that same way. And in your own way, you find a reason to be arm in arm or to help your neighbor, regardless of their race, religion, or sexual orientation. It's the reason why I started making shirts that I've started making. Everything, all the wording on my shirts are raw and imperfect, just like us. They're meant to lift us, look in the memory as a reminder as we go through our day wearing the shirt. You know, I talk a lot about, and I'm very, you know, I'm very, I try to be as transparent as, as as much as I can. Yes, I'm trying to make a career out of social media, but my intent is wholeheartedly to spread love and positivity, or else I would have quit doing this a long time ago. I've been making videos on YouTube probably for ten, over 10 years, but consistently for the last seven years. I post on other social media platforms and I might stumble here and there. There might be times where I'm a, a little bit more le less consistent, but I keep coming back because I believe in my message. I believe in the change I want to help be a part of. You know, I watch people like Mr. Beast and Bill Pulte on Twitter, giving money away, or even Ellen, giving money away. And I cry for the people because I feel their gratitude for what they're getting. But I am also on the other side where I want to be able to give in big ways like that. You know? I want to help change people's lives including my own and I and even now you guys know I'm still trying to figure out how to pay down debt and fix my jeep but at least once a week or every other week I'm giving five dollars here a couple of dollars here to random people you know you've seen videos where I you know and I know I probably won't be able to do that anymore um putting money into, you know, pockets of clothing in the store so people who buy it find, oh, my God, I found $5. You know, $5 might not be much, but we'll buy a gallon of milk for somebody that, you know, had to choose between buying those pants and buying food for their kid, you know. Anyway... I thought I'd share a little bit of my, you know, my general story. Obviously, there's more. If you want to hear more, you know, anything I touched on, 
If you want to hear more detail, tell me in the comments. If you've watched it this long, because I know it's it's pretty long now, please know I appreciate you. I love you. And I thank you so much for the love and support, those of you who keep coming back. Because um, as much as I want to grow, I'm blessed to have the community of people that continue back to watch. It means more than you know. That, as always, like, love, share, and inspire. Don't forget, love is everything. And I will see you next time. Much love. Peace.